Hi everyone, I'm Shruti Devecha. I'm an author, I'm an educator, and I'm here to tell you some fun stories and interesting facts about Raksha Bandhan. Now, did you know that a wife can even tie a Raki to her husband? Or there's actually a Hindu goddess created on Raksha Bandhan just to celebrate it? And lastly, did you know that the Indian freedom struggle used Rakhi as a symbol of unity and togetherness? Well, here are some interesting stories all for you. Let me start with a fascinating mythological tale how a wife tied Rakhi on her husband's wrist. Now, Lord Indra is the king of all gods and the ruler of Dev Lok. Once upon a time, there was a vicious battle between the gods and the demons. It went on for many days and many nights. Lord Indra realized that the gods were losing the battle and he was extremely worried not knowing what to do. He went to Guru Brahaspati, the counsellor of all the gods. Now Guru Brahaspati advised him to ask Indrani, his wife, to tie a sacred thread on Lord Indra's wrist. The sacred thread should be empowered by many strong mantras and this should be chanted only on a full moon night or the Shravan Purnima. Indrani, the wife of Lord Indra, did the need for and she tied a red sacred thread on Indra's wrist. Eventually, it is said that Lord Indra and the gods won the battle. From that day onwards, a Rakhi is also used to signify protection to a man when he goes for battle. Another very interesting mythological tale is about how a Hindu goddess was born because of Raksha Bandha. Now, Lord Ganesha, we all know him, celebrates Rakhi with his sister Manasa. Manasa would arrive every year with his Rakhi, abundance of sweets and lots of gifts for her dear brother. Lord Ganesha would welcome her with open arms and a lot of hospitality. The ceremony of tying the Rakhi would be celebrated in a grand manner with a lot of festivities around it. Now, Ganesha had two wives, Vibhi and Siddhi, and had two sons, Shubh and Lav. Shubh and Lav would often feel very dejected and gloomy. They never had a sister to celebrate this bond with. One day, they went up to their father and plucked up their courage and asked him for a sister. Ganesha flatly refused. It's not possible. However, his wives, Riddhi and Siddhi, also tried to convince him. Finally, Sage Narada reached there. He eventually convinced Ganesha that having a daughter would bring a lot of prosperity and happiness to his devotees. Lord Ganesha created a goddess, his daughter, from the bodies of his wife's two wives, Riddhi and Siddhi. This daughter was called Ma Santoshi or the mother of satisfaction. As praying to her would bring a lot of satisfaction, happiness and prosperity to his devotees. Thus, this is how Shubh and Lab got a sister and the world got Ma Santoshi. Raksha Bandhan is a very unique festival because it is not bound by any religion or by any god but is actually Actually, the epitome of the love between a brother and a sister. History has shown us how this unpretentious Rakhi has been deftly used for the Indian freedom struggle to showcase love, togetherness and harmony. In the year 1905, Lord Curzon declared a partition in Bengal. He wanted the areas to be divided between the Hindus and the Muslims. So, as usual, he could divide and rule. The scholar Ravindranath Tagore 
immediately realized this ploy. Now it was declared, the partition was declared on 16th October, which was also Shravan Purnima or Rakhi Purnima. Ravindranath Tagore called out to all Indians to come forward on that day and tie Rakhi to each other to show love, protection and brotherhood among them. Thousands of Indians came to the banks of Ganga to tie Rakhi to each other. Ravindranath Tagore later went on to all the different mosques and went around tying Rakhis to all the Muslim brothers. Thus, this is how he used it against the Britishers in spite of the partition to show the unity, love and to prevent communal divide between in India.